What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, <clears throat> coming to you live. Bring down this upcoming Miami at Cincinnati Thursday night football slate. Before we begin, hit like button for me. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a ton of y'all know. This is a good Thursday night football matchup. I'm excited about this slate. Um, we have a couple of injuries that are going to definitely be key. But I'm excited for it. So let's just start out with Cincinnati. Jamar Chase, 11000 He's the highest priced Bengal player. He's looked good. Obviously, I mean, the targets are there. It's just, is he going to have that breakout game like he did in week one, or is he going to have kind of the dud in week two and three? That's the thing. 11000 is a hefty price to pay when I can just go down to T. Higgins or Tyler Boyd. Um, but Joe Burrow, 9-6, I like that price tag for him. He finally bounced back last week. I like that. Um, 23 for 36. So... I like that. I like this. I like the upside that he brings. I like the rushing attempts he brings. Um, give me Joe Burrow, nine six. Joe Mixon, nine thousand. Twelve attempts, nineteen attempts, twenty seven attempts. The rushing upside can be there. That's the thing. It's just what does he do with the backfield and the receiving side? Because he's seeing targets in the receiving side, seven four nine. I mean, that he's getting the touches in the in the receiving end. It's just nine thousand. I don't mind it. Tegan's A2, one of my favorite uh, options on this slate. I like the upside he brings. Um, A2 is a great price tag for T. Higgins. P. Ryan, he was priced up just in case Joe Mixon was out. Tyler Boyd had a big game last week. Does he do that again? It's 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 a mystery. It's I guess it's not the right word, mystery, but it's just it's a, it was an outlier game because his longest catch was 56 yards. So I, I do like Tyler Boyd as a contrarian option. It's just do I trust that? Not necessarily. Hayden Hurst, 5'4". He now was a full participant in practice. So 5'4", it's not my favorite. It, it's definitely not. And we're going to have a kicking slate with McPherson at 3'6". I like the price tag. It's under 4K. And then the rest of the guys, I'm not really getting to any of the backups here. On the Miami side, this is where we get a little bit of value. So Tyreek Hill, 10-8. I like him over to Marsh Ace. I like the upside he brings compared to him. Um, Jalen Waddle, though, is questionable. That's the biggest question mark. Is he going to play? Because if he's out, that's going to open up a, some of the value options. Tua, 9-4, questionable. He should even got, got back into that game. But they priced up Teddy Bridgewater, 8-4. I like Teddy Bridgewater, 8-4. I mean, if he's in, he's in. 8-4 is not a bad price tag. Chase Edmonds. It, that the problem is with Chase Evans and our team Moster is just who's going to have the better game. Moster, I'm much rather go to Chase Edmonds though. At six two, uh, Gasecki not really seeing the snaps. Five thousand, I'm out on Dolphins. At four thousand, I'm out on uh, Saunders. Saunders three eight, not bad. Um, but Sheffield at one four, that's going to be your value play of the slate. It, it simply is because of Jalen Waddle being questionable. Um, Cedric Wilson was questionable also. I don't imagine him playing. So this could be, like I said, a Craycraft. It could be a Sharfield kind of slate. It's just who's going to see the most upside. Right. He went back to the practice squad. So that I means it's going to be Sharfield. So, but Drew Smythe, I forgot to mention him. He's seen snaps now. He's seen as many snaps as Scotty is. So at 2A, I don't mind that at all. But this is going to be an interesting slate. Definitely keep an eye on a waddle into it. But all right, this wraps up the slate for us. So thank you for tuning in. It was a great set for us tonight. Have a good one, everybody.